one of the biggest franchises for most had to be The Hunger Games, and the trilogy has delivered big time from what we have seen so far. And for a long time after the last one, there has been many rumors about the future of this franchise. And after a long time, it has been confirmed that there will be a future of this franchise, a prequel to be precise, following the events happening in the books. So stick around and enjoy as we unveil the details that have been posted, and the ones that might go through but are not yet confirmed. The Hunger Games Recap Before moving forward, we have to go back and see how the events unfolded, what has happened and what is expected for what is coming next. But be careful, spoilers ahead, and we don't want to spoil anything for you at all. So if you haven't seen this film series, you, you definitely should, and the ones who already did, we are here to take a journey together with you and catch up to speed. So The Hunger Games is a film series composed of science fiction dystopian adventure films, a trilogy based on the novels by the American author Suzanne Collins. The first film was released in 2012, a time where it all began. In the beginning, we learn that there is a setting taking place that, and once in North America, now is the capital of the nation of Panem, where every year a boy or a girl is sent at the Hunger Games. One boy or girl from every 12 districts between the age of 12 and 18. The Hunger Games is a televised event where participants fight each other to the death and only one survives. With Primrose Everdeen's absence, Katniss Everdeen, the younger sister, volunteers to take her place. And when she is put against one of the highly trained and fiercest participants, the only resources she has to survive are her instincts and knowledge, and to be quickly on her feet nonetheless. After winning the 74th annual Hunger Games, Katniss together with Peta Mellark from District 12 return home safely, but not for long, as being the victor means you have to leave your loved ones behind and go on an adventure, a victory tour throughout the districts for a couple of days. Sensing the rebellion against the capital, a rebellion both her and Peta have sparked, they alert, but Panem is busy as ever as President Snow prepares for the 75th annual Hunger Games. Blind from what he is coming ahead, something that can change everything. The third installment of the trilogy has been divided into two parts to put the story on another level, and the movie starts as Katniss is rescued from the devastating Quarter Quell, she finds herself beneath the supposedly ruined District 13. After her home, District 12, being reduced to rubble, her closest friend being kidnapped and brainwashed and held captive by President Snow, Katniss joins the rebellion in Capital, a move that puts her on the spotlight to confront Snow. Realizing the situation is not only for survival, Katniss unites with her friends in an ultimate mission to gain peace. In the meantime, President Snow's obsession towards destroying Katniss and everyone around her puts everyone on a knife's edge. A journey filled with mortal enemies, moral choices, and dangerous enemies. A journey that will determine the future of millions of people. <laughs> Thank you for your consideration. The Hunger Games 5 Renewal As the new book was coming out from Suzanne Collins' The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, also a movie version with the same title was being planned. Lionsgate is the company working on the adaption, the same one working on the adaption of the previous mentioned trilogy. However, this next one will be actually a prequel to the same trilogy and will unveil all the things that happened before The Hunger Games today we all know and love. Michael Arndt, an Oscar winner, will be the one writing the screenplay and also Francis Lawrence returns as director who made the previous three films. Nina Jacobson will produce along with Brad Simpson and last but not least, Collins himself will plan to serve for the role as executive producer and write the film. And in short, this prequel will also take place at Collins' fictional Panem and will center on the 18-year-old Coralonius Snow, the future president of the Capitol, played in the earlier movies by Donald Sutherland, who we all know so far. You guys look amazing. Thank you. My stylist is such an idiot. District 7, Lumber. The Hunger Games 5 release date. 
So far there hasn't been an exact release date for the prequel of The Hunger Games and we still don't know for sure when it will hit the theaters. Considering the final three movies of the franchise were released in November on Lionsgate calendar and with development just beginning at the second half of 2020, a project which would probably take roughly over a year, we might expect the movie to be released on November 2022. This is if everything goes as planned, but with the current situation and the lockdowns, this date might even get pushed to 2023. An uncertainty we will need to be prepared for and wait a little while to get confirmation about the exact date of the prequel's release. I'm an open book. Everybody always seems to know my secrets before I know them myself. Unfortunately, I think that's true. The Hunger Games 5 trailer. There isn't an official trailer released yet, but rather a teaser to keep us at bay. From the trailer and from what we know so far, the setting takes place in Panem, 64 years before the event of the first movie, also known as The Dark Days, and will focus on the aftermath of the war as the people of Panem try to build their new society that will give birth to the Hunger Games that we know. The evil mastermind we know in this movie will actually be the young Cornelia Snow, who is actually a hero at the time, thus creating for us a similar flow of things to the story of Anakin in the Star Wars franchise. The Hunger Games 5 Cast the new Hunger Games will be coming back, but in a very different fashion as a prequel, not a continuation of the story from the previous one. And as we said before, the prequel will focus on the period after the Dark Days, and to remind you those were the days after the First Rebellion took place in Panem against the Capitol, a war that left the city in shambles. With this in mind together with the fact that this time there was around 64 years ago, there isn't a clear cast conforming to the prequel movie yet. As the year's difference will affect everything, we are not hoping for any of the members returning to reprise their roles, of course, and this means no Jennifer Lawrence this time around. Sorry for all you fans that were with the movie franchise so far on the big part of the marquee herself. The Hunger Games 5 Story the film adaptations for the previous books weren't exactly that tightly connected, but they had the resemblance in the core. They managed to catch the essence of it. So with that in mind, from what we were able to dig out and what the book's plot has to offer, we have some idea of how the film's story will go. The new Hunger Games prequel will center on the reconstruction period known as the Dark Days that took place after the First Rebellion. The civil war that broke out between the districts and the capital 64 years prior to the start of the Hunger Games trilogy released by now. After the abandonment of District 13 in order to secure their own freedom and the capital's forces crushing the rebellion, a treaty of treason was made put into effect a moment that led to the Hunger Games that we all know today. The prequel will tell the story of young Cornelius Snow at the day a mentor waiting to be assigned to an attendant of the 10th annual Hunger Games event, an action he takes in order to end his family's poor life that they led to this moment. After being assigned as a mentor to a member from one of the poorest districts, he questions himself and needs some time to see the qualities of his mentee and try as hard as he can to ensure the victory of his mentee and prove himself to the society and get their attention. Snow was the protagonist, the hero of the story, and how he rose through the ranks to become the despot that he is now, the tyrannical president of Panem. The Hunger Games 5 Questions With the prequel coming up, fans around the world have many questions that the movie needs to answer. Because even after the four movies we have seen so far, there are still little bits and pieces that are not clear to the fans. One of these questions is that the first rebellion is really like. After all, it was the reason, the DNA, for the beginning of the harsh tradition we have now. Also, what are the origins of the country of Panem? Many questioning the interesting aspects of the society that is very different from their own. The democracy of the United States, comprised of 50 states. Is now a totalitarian dictatorship, well, where did things go sideways? Following this, the question that got many intrigued is that even a world outside of Panem, is there a better life beyond the borders, or is Panem the last living civilization on Earth? And last but not least, the Hunger Games. We know that in the movies, the 10th Hunger Games will be showcased. 
and we would like to know how they evolved from the beginning all the way to where they are now, what's old, what's new, and how this became the high profile televised event that it is today. That is it for today. Thank you for watching and staying until the end. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more videos like this in the future.